Yep, Dave, go ahead. Hey, Ryan, uh, welcome to UCLA. I'm Dave Woods from Burn Report Online. Awesome, thanks. Good to meet you, Dave. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about the hiring process and what was so enticing for you about um, coming to UCLA to work for Chip Kelly? Yeah, you know, I, I'd been at Oregon State and played against them a lot, so the offenses were always something that were really um, – uh, you wanted to learn and you wanted to know kind of the secret sauce. Uh, and then just my experience at at uh, San Jose State with Brent Brennan and all the good things that he had to say about Coach Kelly and about UCLA and the opportunity that was there was uh, something I really wanted to pursue. And working with an, a quarterback who's got a lot of experience and a ton of talent, kind of a different skill set than, than what I'm used to, which has been uh, – probably another question that'll come up but something that's really fun for me uh when you when you were at Oregon State you were kind of working uh, as a coach opposite that Oregon Death Star a little bit uh did you get any ribbing from uh old Oregon State comrades about uh, going to work for the enemy um not yet I don't really give them the opportunity to do that uh it's, I th but I think everybody that I know from Oregon State's excited for me and the opportunity um it's hard to they, we don't have really have much that we can say about um, the games that we played against Coach Kelly's teams. We didn't we didn't win, so uh, we we won my last year there in 2007. But that was it. What's uh what's the connection been like with Dorian so far? Obviously, you've only had you know a few weeks of spring and then a little yeah. bit um, in March. But what's the connection been like so far? It's been great. You know, Dorian's base of football knowledge is really really good. Um, I think Coach Bible and Coach Kelly did an awesome job with him. Just he, he knows a lot. He's bright. He sees stuff. His vision is really good. But the guy just, I was going to say the kid. He's not a kid. He's, he's maturing. He's a, he's a young man. He's, he really wants to learn. He wants to know the bad. He doesn't just want to be told what he's doing right. And I've had, you know, we've had an awesome experience so far. I'm not naive enough to – to think that it's just always going to be like that. Like there's no real bullets flying yet. Stuff's going to get real here in the fall. Um, but he takes the the good and the bad and, and, and we've got a good relationship. Uh, but, but he, once you get older and you, you start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, like it, it becomes more real and, and they're a lot more accepting of the hard coaching. Hey, I just want to be better, you know? So, He's there for sure. I've been really, um, just, just really happy with with the way that we've worked. He wants a ton of information, so it's been fun for me. Cool. Thanks, Coach. Absolutely. Tony, go ahead. Hey, Coach Tony Syracuse from Last Word on College Football. How much work did you do? How much work did you put in getting to know the quarterbacks that you were going to be working with before camp started? You know, we had a lot of walkthroughs. There's a lot of walkthrough time. Um, just the, we weren't using a ball, but uh, we, you know, we, so we had a lot of experience. There was a lot of learning opportunities during that time. Um, and then to, to really do a good job of coaching, I think you kind of have to have a personal relationship. It, it can't just be football all the time. So so I had them all in to talk and just kind of get to know them a little bit better, know what their goals were, where they wanted to go. You know, my goals are my players' goals. I want I can't necessarily, if, if everybody's got the same goal of being the starter, um, I can't necessarily help you all be the starter, but I want to move everybody in the direction of what their goals are. So I kind of need to, you need to know something about your guys and what really makes them tick. And now that you've been through more than half of your first spring camp here, what's your assessment of the quarterback play that you've seen? What are your takeaways so far? Uh, the the general question that you always get, and I hate when I, I would ask coaches, how was practice today? And they show oh, some good, some <laughs> bad. But there's some good, some bad. There's a ton of awesome learning opportunities. Um, you know, there's some stuff out there, especially with Dorian, as it relates to Dorian, that, hey, dude, I, I don't, I've never had that athletic ability. I've never been around anybody like that. But, so nice play, but I don't, I can't coach that stuff. I'm trying to coach the decision-making 
when we call the right the right play against the right coverage, let's make sure that we're doing this thing exactly right, putting this team, this offense in the perfect or in the best situation possible to move the ball down the field and score points. Um, it's been good and it's gotten better. Um, we talk a lot about that. Doesn't necessarily matter, you know, what happened previously. Where you are is where you are. What are you going to do about it going forward? Uh, and they've they've approached it really well in that sense. They're spending a lot of extra time on their own working. Um, so I've been really happy with it. I've been really happy. I think the young guys are competing and they're hungry for information. Great. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. Yeah, no doubt. Thanks. Go back to Dave. Hey, so uh, one of the things, just um, all of these guys are new to you. Um, for us, uh, two of the newcomers, uh, Garbers and Holloway, and um, just anything that you've noticed specifically about those two so far and just their um, their abilities on the uh, practice field? Uh, well, and, you know, I was at San Jose State. There's not – they're new to me, but I – you know, I recruited them. I, I was Ethan Garber's first offer at San Jose State. <laughs> so – He's not new to me. I, I knew who he was, and I'd like to say I knew who he was first. So, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the, the arm talent is real with both of them. Um, Ethan, Ethan's got a real whippy, smooth motion that is, is it's fun to watch him throw. Kajai is a, a really powerful thrower who's got impressive athleticism. Um, obviously, I don't know if you guys have been out here and, and seen him at practice. Really good looking kid. Um, so they've both done a nice job. Obviously, we're giving them everything in the offense. So there's at times it's a little overwhelming, but uh, their drive to learn it and get extra work has been there, which I like. Um, if you just do what we ask of you, it's pretty hard. You have to be markedly better than anybody else in the room to be the guy. So you're always going to have to pursue extra information. And they've, they've both done that, which I really like. Rick Kimbrell. Hi, Ryan. Congratulations on your new gig here in LA. Thanks, Rick. Hey, uh, you've given us a good rundown on, on a lot of the quarterbacks. Can you give us a rundown on Parker McQuarrie and Chase Griffin and uh, Chase A and uh, Kirshner? Yeah, so I'll just go in order there. Um, you know, Chase Griffin is one of the guys when I came in and watched all the film, obviously he played a lot. And Chase did a nice job of moving the offense down the field. Um, he's really football smart. Uh, well, really, really smart school. So I don't, don't get my words twisted there. But he's done a good job. And he, he knows, I, I use the term drive the bus. You don't necessarily got to drive a sports car, but you got to get all the kids to school. <laughs> and he uh, he does a good job of operating the offense. Parker has maybe grown the most out of everybody just in the in the understanding of the offense. You know, he came in in a COVID year uh, with you know meeting times were funky with just the way that the COVID restrictions were, um, and he has learned a lot. I've been really happy with him. Uh, Chase Artopius is is sneaky sneaky athletic. He's one of you know, outside of Dorian, he might be the most athletic guy in the room. Um, really, really bright, wants to be a coach when he grows up. He's he's sharp and he's got a good arm. He does a really nice job running our offense. I've, he's gotten a lot of good, really good reps this year. And then uh, Blake Kirshner has done a, a good job working on some stuff, just getting him stronger and more physically developed. He missed a little bit of time uh, in the walkthrough period, but he, he's – He's doing a good job. He comes in every morning, has good questions for me. So I've, I've really liked working with him too. Thanks a lot and good luck to you. Thanks, Rick. Any other questions for Coach Gundy? Steve said you guys are going to be a lot tougher than this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, James, go ahead. Hey, Coach, how are you doing? Good, how are you, James? Doing well. Um, welcome to LA, first and foremost. Um, what is your relationship like uh, with Coach Kelly? How, how did, uh, did you guys first meet? What is the relationship there? And how did you guys kind of uh, get to the point where you are now as, um, you know, on the same coaching staff? Yeah, you know, I talked a little bit about it earlier, but mm -hmm. I had a lot of runs with him when we were at Oregon State. Um, 
so obviously knew who he was really well. Um, and then I, I had worked these camps. I had worked UCLA's camp when I was at San Jose State, so had some interaction with him there. Had a lot of interaction with Coach Bible uh, during that time and worked with him. Um, and then it was a little bit out of the blue at, when I was at San Jose State, but Coach Brennan walked in my office and said, hey, Chip Kelly wants to talk to you. Okay, that's great. I'd like to talk to him too. Um, and then we just kind of talked and you know got to know him a little better and did the interview process and, and really liked it and thought it was a great opportunity to learn something different. Um, it's the only way you're really gonna grow is, is, is learning a new offense and something new. So kind of see it through the lens that he likes to see it, some new stuff, some stuff that I've already done uh, kind of learning each other's lingo and uh, but he's really sharp and I've, I've learned a ton from him already and it's it's every day something new my notes on my iPad are pretty robust at this point keep adding to it trying to organize it but it's been good um, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself just all around and the whole offensive staff is kind of that way it's good guys who I'm learning stuff from and and really enjoy being around thank you Yeah, let's go back to Rick. How do you and your family like Los Angeles? Love it. Absolutely love it. My wife, um, my wife's from the city where they filmed the Goonies. So it's a town of about 8,000 people. And then she went to college at Oregon State, which is 50 or 60,000. Then we moved to Lincoln, Nebraska, which is 250. And then we moved to San Jose, which is a million. So when I told her we're moving to LA, I was like, Hillary, this is about as big as it's going to get. You know, I, I don't think there's a good football team in Tokyo and Rutgers is kind of outside of New York city, Mexico city is not very good at football. So, uh, but we are really enjoying it. Um, my, I've got a two year old who loves going to the beach and playing in the sand and, uh, we're having a blast. It's really fun. Outstanding. Yeah. All right, anything else for coach? Look forward to meeting you guys in person someday. 2024 or something like that. All right, coach, thanks for your time. All right, take it easy guys, appreciate you. Am I good?